Hello everybody, this is Zephyrianek, and welcome back to this episode of Evil Quest, which will likely be the last one. If not, it's one of the last ones. We're going to clear the Astral Plane this episode. Hopefully, we won't die this time instant- oh, nearly instantan- Nearly instantaneously. I need to keep an eye on my health. I really- ooh. Uh, I thought that was an NP- like a, an enemy or something for a minute, and I was very confused. I don't know why I thought it was an enemy, but- Oh, run away. I'm going to do a lot of running in this area, I feel. Oh, yeah. So anything in this... I think any given enemy in this area could kill me in a couple hits. This makes it really good I've got all of these potions, though. Even then, that might not be enough. I don't know. It's very, very possible that it won't be. And that will be very disappointing if that is the case. <laughs> because I might still... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yep, that was the way out, apparently. <laughs> I might still, if I don't have enough for that, I will probably still have to go back and farm some money. And ah, oh, Man, if they didn't deal so much damage. Magic potion. Yep, that wasn't worth it. Let's see, let's do this one. Oh, there's a save point. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh, God. I don't have to worry about going back through any of the area again. Fantastic. I guess that means I'm on the right path if I found a save point. Now, what's down the... Oh. Ah, you buggers deal so much damage. Also, I'll have to show off this lightning spell. Lightning 2. Just just, just watch. I, oh, I hit the wrong button. I still hit the wrong button. There we go. It's a, those are enemies? Those turrets? I didn't know that. Okay. Because this thing does such an insane amount of damage. And I love it. It's so much fun. This makes a lot of fights with more than one enemy in the area a whole lot easier. The music is changing so rapidly in this area, too. Oh, oh. I don't actually know where I'm going, to be honest. If that's not... Oh, not obvious. Visibility cape? What's that do? Okay, you know what? Don't explain to me what an invisibility cape does. <laughs> where is almost undetectable to... Apparently, almost undetectable and detectable are completely different. <laughs> because I tried moving, but I hit tab by mistake. But on the bright side, at least we're just, you know, right here now. We're not miles and miles away like we were before. So I think I can get back to that cape pretty easily. I mean, I remember the area I went to get there. It was just down this way, to the left, and then up, I believe. Oh, ah. Again, if they didn't take off almost all of my health in one shot. I think this would be much, much easier. There we go. <laughs> almost under, almost undetectable, my ass. Toughness tablet, that's good. And the life potion. I can't remember if life potions are... I don't think they're the ones that... They are the ones that fully restore HP. Okay, now what did I just pick up? Oh yeah, I picked up a, a toughness tablet. There we go. Do I have any other tablets? I don't believe I do. I shouldn't at the very least. No, I do not. Okay, I was making sure. Now, what is... Well, nothing significant up this... Hey! Ah! Yeah, that... <laughs> I don't feel like this changes how detectable I am whatsoever. I feel just as detectable as I was before. So an enemy... Enemies still attack me when I get near... I'm just gonna take that off. Yerex bracelets or... Ah. Yeah, th those bracelets are... I mean, not the bracelets, this... Oh, here we go. That Yerick's bracelets, there are his bracelets, I'm sorry. His bracelets are so powerful with because of that, I don't feel like I have the... I should take them off. Oh, I can't go over there? Okay, interesting. Well, it makes sense I can't. I mean, on top of a building, right? Well, what is this? I mean, it's the Astral Plains. Is this like a bu uh, building of some variety? Let me use that very... Very instantaneously, because those strength tablets are so useful. They really... Actually... Ow, man. Use the... There we go. I hit alt and control like three times before I actually was able to use that item. There we go. Whew. All right. I think it'd be more beneficial. It'd be easier for me if I was leveled up a bit more. But I am not... I'm probably a bit underleveled for this area, I can imagine. I mean, not necessarily, actually, not necessarily underleveled, but I 
don't feel like I put as many points into health as I probably should have. Oh, there's a lot of portals in this area. I feel like if anything is going to bring me down in the astral planes, it's going to... Really? Really, game? You're going to play this game, are you? Ah. It's going to be the lack of health and lack of defense that I have. Because I'm so... I, I feel like I'm squishier than I should be. This is a very long path. I feel like I'm a lot squishier than I... Sh oh, really? It just brings you... Ah. These are all connected, aren't they? They're... Ah. They're not all connected, but that one guy can hit me from anywhere in that area, it seems. Here, let's just go on this one. And then, not that one. I did... Oh, apparently that one. That one brings me to another save point. Fantastic. All these save points are nothing but good for me. <laughs> because the more save points I find, the less, hopefully, terrain I have to... This is a very large, flat area. The less terrain I have to traverse... Oh, I blocked it. Thank gosh. To traverse in order to... Get back to... <laughs> I hate enemies that move that quickly. <laughs> ah. Well, I remember earlier in the playthrough, I was complaining about how it doesn't feel like there's enough enemy for... They follow you. They follow you everywhere. That is... <sighs> makes a lot of sense, but I don't like it. <laughs> oh, I leveled up somehow. Okay, you know what? Two of those can go into that. The rest of that needs to... Oh, I can only put in two into each. I forgot. Okay, use that. Oh, it's not going to hit him. Of course not. What does that do? Oh, I feel like I did... What does that do? Oh! Oh, 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 oh. I see, game. And a... what did I just... Apparently, you know what, I, I'll i be honest, I really, really hate all the freaking shortcuts that Windows 8 has. I mean, I have, I just went to my settings page, because I hit I some keystroke that I don't even, uh, that I don't even know while I was simply trying to move in this game. It, uh, Windows 8, trolling me hard here. Oh, what do you have? Chaos Play, ooh. That action. Well, from 40, 52 to 87, I feel like that might help a little bit. Let's just take... That actually does not help nearly as much as the numbers indicate that it should. But nonetheless, that's a pretty <laughs> pretty massive help. Oh, well, there's this gone. Fantastic. That's two of them down the same, ep well, the same section. Now, I don't know how to get up to that, though, is the thing. Although, I'm glad I'm in the right area for what I need to be doing. Oh, you just walk right up this way. Okay. I need to get to that save point. I feel... Oh. Boo. There we go. Now, I want to... I need to remove all the barriers to unlock this room. Yeah. Oh, game. Get out of here. Now, screw you guys. You're getting magic. There we go. Yeah, you don't like that, do you? No. No one likes that. Actually, I don't even really have... Yeah, I don't have enough money to be able to keep hemorrhaging all these potions, to be honest. So I need to really, really actively avoid taking damage. But the thing is, a lot of these enemies here, they just chase you down. And it's really annoying, and it's very hard to avoid the damage. Oh, what's actually up here might be another... another. Nope, never mind. Just another wide open area. Is there anything... Up this nope, there's not. Well, if I go around this, I can imagine there's probably something over to the right. At least one, another one to open up. I guess. Uh, nope, dead end. Okay. Now, what's the point of having these jump boots if you can't jump over that gap? You can jump over that kind of gap, and okay, that was one I already destroyed. You can jump over that kind of gap in designated areas, but if you're not in a designated area, those jump boots are kind of pointless. Which is disappointing, to say the least, but I can under- That shot was following me. I can understand why that's the case, but... Alright, that's one of- that's the last one. I mean, second to last one. I need one more down. Actually, you know what? I need to see something. I need to see how many life potions- I've got seven life potions. So ah! <laughs> I've got 
each piece of damage right now is just irritating me. Because every piece of damage I take here is going to make it harder to actually beat the game. To beat the boss. Because losing all these potions. If, and I'm back up here. Okay. Let me actually... That map doesn't help a whole lot, to be honest. Anyway, the more damage I take against these little guys... Not little guys, but they're not the boss. Is just more... Well, fewer potions I have against the boss. And I have a feeling that the boss's area is going to... Oh, jeez, no. <laughs> no. I have a feeling the boss's area is going to take a decent number of potions to take down. And that's disappointing, to say the least, because I have to hemorrhage. So, Oh, actually, here, here's the last thing, so never mind that a little bit. Now I have a feeling that will warp me, if not to the last boss, it will warp me close to the plane that I need to go to for him. But I suppose, since there's a save point right... Ah! Ah! <laughs> since there's a save point right there that I can... Well, I have a cure spell. I don't know why I'm focusing... So so much on these. That's gonna kill that dragon. There we go. 50 gold, that's something. <laughs> it's something. Escape. Save. Now, depending on what's past this, we'll actually end the episode here and continue. No turning back once a step in this rune. Oh, this is the final boss. Okay. Well, God is interesting. I knew it. I could feel the presence of my chaos axe the moment it entered the astral plane. How could something so puny wield it? This axe is mine, now I'll cleave you into it. Besides, you failed to make good use of it before. I don't believe you have what it takes to destroy God. Silence, I have forged a new weapon which I'll break free from this astral prison. Killing you with it should feed enough power for me to strike God a thousand times. He just called me puny, and now he's saying that's going to feed the power. How pathetic. <laughs> the once mighty Tesserel has been reduced to wielding a child's toy. Come here, feeble demon, let me put an end to your existence. Oh, uh, this... Don't taunt the demon, guy. Yeah, see... <sighs> I knew that the boss's area was going to have some sort of attack like that that's incredibly hard to, if not Im impossible, to avoid. Because I don't know how to avoid that, to be honest. Bar getting behind him, and it doesn't seem like he'll let you behind him. <gasps> oh my god, I jumped at that. That scared the hell out of me. Oh my god. I am out of potions. Oh, oh my god, that's scared me. I was not expecting that at all. Wow. Okay, then. Yeah, I don't know how to avoid that attack, though. That's the thing. It's the same attack that the, uh, bugger, the Medusa thing had. Not Medusa, the... You know what I'm trying to say. The... The one... No. That was an annoying sound. And I'm very sorry about that, but I don't think I could have anticipated that he was going to do that. And make that, well, he was going to make that noise with that attack. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, he it can even hit me over by where he's casting it from, so. Yeah, I don't know how to avoid that attack. I don't think there is any way to avoid that. In which case, that's really annoying. Oh, nope, nope. Ah. The audio clip for that attack is awful. It's so much louder than the rest of his... Yeah, you can't... You you cannot dodge that attack. You can get lucky and block it, I feel, but you can't... Oh my gosh. this That attack is just annoying. It's not that it's it does a lot of damage. It's just really annoying sounding. Let me bring back some... Ah! I actually do have a shield that will, uh... C yep. I tried getting as close to him as I could. Doesn't do anything. Yep. He's gonna hit me with that no matter what. Which is infuriating that I don't have any more health potions left. I'm Yeah, I'm gonna die. Well, I've got some potions left, but they heal so little health. Oh, those heal magic. Okay. Let me... Oh, uh, yep. Okay, you know what? I'm going to... Wait, I have the fire shield. The fire shield is supposed to negate damage from a fire attack. No, that's the dragon shield that does. Never mind. Okay, this is... How... Oh, wow. Oh. I had so little... 
yeah, I'm gonna die right off the bat though, cause I can't, <laughs> I can't fight this off though. That's the thing. I have no health. I have no potions to bring back health with, and I don't have any way of getting more potions, especially not now that we're stuck here. Maybe, maybe I can warp out of here. I think. Nope. Okay. I should have prepared for this a bit better, but to be fair, I didn't anticipate the boss being that much of a hard ass before I came into this area. The final battle- no, I'm not ready for this at all. Like, there's- <laughs> there is zero part of me that is ready for this. I know you're here. Sorry your presence. Can I- okay. Eh. At least try and bring back my health. Oh, I can't yet. Well, that's really weird design. Gal, it's so unfortunate for you that your mind is so consumed by evil. You can't defeat me. Even with that poor demon Tassio's weapon, you don't stand a chance. I've slaughtered a demon, something you can never do. You are wrong, my son. I could have killed him at any point, but that is not my way. After our battle so many centuries ago, I allowed Tassio to live in solitude in the astral plane. In exchange, she gave me the Chaos Axe, and I cast it into the realm of man. As a benevolent entity, I will offer you the same opportunity, and I will not even consider it. I am not Tassio, and you have no something to stop me. Okay, I am actually concerned about this fight. I can't use my magic against this. I'm going to have to, like, to damage him. I'm going to have to worry about running off my chicken, like, like a chicken with his head cut off to bring back health. But at the same time, he seems to be largely, actually, let me, if I'm going to be doing that game, let me, no, nope, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, I don't have many of them left, but that'll help. Oh, actually, did I get a, a weapon from that? I didn't. Okay. He said the demon Tassriel's weapon, so I was thinking that possibly I got his axe. Like his new axe, not the chaos axe. Actually, this boss doesn't seem that hard. Wow, he deals a lot of damage. I need to make sure I don't get warped into. Because dear, <laughs> dear God, ha. Dear God, he deals a lot of damage if he hits you physically. I have a feeling that those attacks will wreck me, too, if I get hit by them. Therefore, I should do my best not to get hit by them. Don't hit me, God. There we go. Actually, can, can I use that? I got the shadow spell. I can use it. But I use it to no avail that time. Oh, I got saved by luck there. Okay. Oh, oh, this is powerful, actually. Wow. Okay, I can't... Unfortunately, I don't feel like I should use that. I feel like I should take this a slow fight and stay defensive about it. Because if I don't stay defensive about it, I have a very high chance of dying. Because I don't have any health potions. <laughs> I have... Oh, I'm even out of my magic. Ah, oh, man. I have four magic potions, which will fully bring back magic in a pinch, but hopefully I won't get to that point where I need to worry about that. All right. Ooh, okay, that was close. Although I am tempted to just equip a stronger item. Oh, what just... At long, he's dead. He's not dead. You're. Are you stupid? What is this nonsense? Yeah, he's not dead. Are you stupid? <laughs> There's no way he's dead. It's not even his final form. Wow. I gave you the chance to repent, demon. Now feel the... I have a feeling... Oh, th This is basically... Wow. This is basically the same fight as the, uh... The frost giant fight, I feel. Only he deals a lot more damage. Oh, I was trying to... Oh, what? I was on the... Ah. Yeah, he does the exact same thing as the fire demon did. Not the fire demon. Whoa. Heal, heal, heal before that does anything. There we go. Wow. Okay. You can stop with that at any point. I'm trying to sprint, but I keep hitting... The thing is, is... Ah, oh, man. I got to time that a lot better. I'm horrible at timing that, but... 
Okay. The thing is, he has the same attacks. Like, pretty much the exact same attacks as the Frost Giant did in the Frost Cave. Ah, straight down to that stupid... <sighs> the one that gave me so much trouble again. No, you're not hitting me with that. Actually, <laughs> if I'm over here, I might as well hit him with a shadow spell if I can. Oh, I can. Sweet. Okay, I need to not do that again, though. X. I need that. I need that mana for when I get hit with damage. Yes. I uh, timed it right. Out. Heal, 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 heal. Nope, move. See, I need to always assume that he's gonna do the worst when he does that and just hightail it. And get over to the corner. Because the corner seems. Still not even his final form. I can guarantee it. But anyway, the corner is his weakness. Whew. Yep, not even his final form. Oh my god. What are you? I'm new ruler of the astral plane, and now that your false front of benevolence has been stripped away, I see you for what you truly are. Tell me, God, what who did you replace? Did you also murder to gain your power? Have you always been a demon? I don't listen to this blasphemy. I will rip you Oh man, this is Uh I have to be s I'm gonna die on this fight so many times. Oh he it comes back. This fight will be the end of my gaming experience, I feel. Oh. No. I can't run past him either. That's annoying. I have to run around and hope that he doesn't attack. With yeah, I can't avoid some of these attacks, I don't feel. Ow. Get your health back, bud. Heal. I can't use an item. There we go. I was hitting X, and it was not letting me use my healings, my potion. This is an absurd fight. <laughs> this really is. I mean, wow. I hope he doesn't have a whole lot of health. That's the thing. Yep, he can still hit me even when I get in that corner. Uh. Okay. Oh, what's he gonna do? Okay, he's doing that. He is swinging his fiery pe mouth penis around. Whew. Ah. Okay, heal, heal, heal. Don't. No, don't do that again. I barely survived that the first time. Although now I know that I can actually dodge out of the way of these things. So I guess that's not. Ah. Not the worst thing in the world. Whew. This fight, good lord, I am... <laughs> Nothing in this game prepared me for the difficulty of this battle. I'll be... Oh. I was thinking about it. Okay, no, I'm just gonna go over here. Screw it. Ah! Ah, that was exactly what I was hoping to avoid. Run! Away from the fiery mouth penis. <laughs> ah. There we go. Okay. He doesn't appear to have a whole lot of health, at least. Okay, just run through there and take the damage regardless. Just tank it. Oh, great. This. I officially put this in my vote for both the dumbest and most original attack in this game. <laughs> it's amazing. It's really original and stupid beyond belief at the same time and I both love it and hate it for those reasons oh run away oh, this cure spell is saving my bacon though I'll tell you that much I'm best purchase I've made in this game Run through. oh sweet I blocked that attack he just healed himself didn't he oh oh I blocked the mouth penis fantastic Okay, this I picked up a crystal shield, by the way, before I came here. Not as in purchase, as in I found it. Because in the graveyard, apparent, well, the battlefield, there is one in a chest in the middle of the map, pretty much. 
So, yeah, I didn't realize that until I actually, ugh, until I went over and after I died and was running back through and saw a treasure chest and opened it. I was debating oh, waiting until I came back on camera to open it or not, but I decided against it because, you know, it wouldn't have been really worth it that much just to come back sp specifically because I found a chest. Ugh. I was hoping I could tank that, well, block that too. Thing is, I need to stay as close to full health as possible. This thing does so much damage per hit. <gasps> oh, this cannot be. A miserable demon like you has won. Now it's time for you to fade away into oblivion. Time for the world to suffer for its crimes against me. Did I just beat the game? Oh, wow. This will be a long episode, I think. And I may split it in half, but wow. I'm actually kind of shaking right now, I'll be honest. Whew. The Annihilation of God, nothing could stem the tide of Galvis's hatred, and the planet was witness the full force of his fury. Within seconds, millions of men and women reduced to dust, and in the terrifying moments that followed, the entire world recognized its fate. Wow. <laughs> oh, look, and there's just a bunch of demons everywhere now. Wow. Galvis, you're a one vengeful son of a bitch there. Well, that's probably why this game is called Evil Quest, for you destroy everything. Hey, look, it's that night guy that you spared earlier. And just random townsfolk. And Galvis, he's hugging the world. As the world ripped, was ripped to shreds, Galvis gorged himself in the misery of those who suffered, who, yeah, of those snuffed out in the planet's final seconds. The astral plane wailed at the suffering that was inflicted on humanity that day, and mourned the passing of the realm of man. Wow. <laughs> I wonder what the second game is going to be based off of. However, Galvis' satisfaction was brief. For a man with as much ambition as he, makes a demon with an, yeah, an incalculable lust for power. To begin to what else lied in the astral plane, and to that end, was it possible to conquer all of existence? That's actually probably what the, yeah, that's probably what the plot of Evil Quest 2 will be about. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was Evil Quest. I enjoyed that series, to be honest. That was a fun little game. Some of the... <laughs> there were some things I griped about. There's things I gripe about with every single game. I gripe a lot. I like gri oh, I don't like griping, but I still do it a lot. Anyway, well... I don't know what's going to be... If there's going to be anything past the end of the credits, but... Jeremiah Pekinen, Rob Bullock, Robin McCorkle... I'm, per I'm butchering those pronunciations. Yeah, thank you, each and every one of you who watched... I mean, those of you who watched the videos and or watched the entire series, thank you. I mean, it was very, very fun to do. <laughs> and you, yay! Woo! PC beta tester. I'm not a beta tester. Why would you put me in beta testing? No, I know they put you in special thanks. The end. I like that font, too. Press A. Well. Well, that's obviously the end of this episode, guys, and the series. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you for the next series I do. Bye.